magnet is another portable tool for random access memory capture so it claims it's small footprint on the target machine and supports nearly all windows operating versions so including windows xp windows vista windows 7 8 10 2003 2008 and 2012 so using this tool is quite simple actually it includes it has the both versions of 32-bit and 64-bit versions of these applications so actually this tool is quite simple you just in order to download it you need to get this link magnetforensics.com free tool magnet capture and then actually we have a problem yeah so uh, you need to uh, just fill out a small form and then download link will appear here so for example mailfake.com we're gonna give them a fake email so yeah we have fake here yeah we have a problem with this website by right, another oh, oh website yeah okay so we got our fake email addresses just click copy first name some uh, ill and a work email phone i have located the gift phone here yeah uh, the company is dummy company uh Italy, industry country algeria industry i have enforcement yes i would like no i don't want there is okay and her get free tool yeah ha this field is required so we have to get we are obligated to get the information from them get their advertisements so the mail uh, the link download link of the program is will come with mail so you click on open click and open the mail and here you're gonna get this link here and so to complete download process please click the link here click the link and the program will download so we got, i'm gonna install this program on the desktop close this we don't need it anymore and yeah this is our program mrcv10 Yes, of course you have to guess and uh after reading uh all these uh, agreements you can if you accept click on accept and here our so this is the main user interface of the magnet ram capture here so actually it's quite simple uh for example uh you can go the computer here actually yeah in windows we need to this pc click on right click on this as you can see we have four gigabyte of ram uh, the 11th generation core e5 so um when we, when i click this start save ram i'm gonna save this ram to uh, this desktop right directory yeah save okay yeah we have to name it my ram save and yeah we can split this one gigabyte per one gigabyte so i have four gigabyte of ram so this will uh, split my ram depends on the ram usage <laughs> if usually four gigabyte is like my ram is completely four gigabyte but in this case i'm not gonna split my ram uh, as you can see here, the system says i have a 5120 megabytes of system memory to be captured so then if i choose the one gigabyte then i will get the five times you no know, maybe four times so it's math here uh, so now as you can see we this magnet forensics as uh, i said the earlier versions it will save the raw format drive format so this is most compatible with other software so it's good to save this graph format but uh, it will not save metadata here but it's okay we don't need it for yet so we're gonna not split this and click on the start ram um, is capturing now so i have a, a pretty expensive computer <laughs> and that's why the ram is uh, capturing so fast here so yeah it's completed <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, my saved and click the save. So now I wanna. So I I hardly installed the Windows operating system here. That's because I need to show the extensions here. Okay, and hide extensions from. Don't hide the extensions from on top side. So as you can see, here, we got the my RAM save R a w graph format so let's see what is the size of this code five gigabyte five gigabyte so let's split it out well, uh, we can split it out one gigabyte per year and let's create our folder one gigabyte split of random access memory here and we're gonna save all of these split files in 
this directory uh, named a1 so uh, it will rename itself for example if we name it apple it will name as apple apple one apple two apple three apple four and apple five so vice versa so apple or <laughs> let's the car car yeah car is okay <laughs> it's not pretty logical but yeah it's the name here as i said my uh, i have a pretty expensive computer so that's why the capture capture process is so fast as you can see my car rav was 001, 001 three, four five and final is six here and that's it about the magnetram capture this is a simple program that has um, some alpha footprint on the target machine and supports nearly all windows operating system versions in next lecture we're gonna create and test more applications on windows ram capture and storage uh, analysis here so see you in next lectures